Hey everybody, it's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to do the cherry picker. Prerequisite tricks I recommend you learn before the cherry picker are the helix and the whip rollover. So once you got those down, let's get to the breakdown of the cherry picker. To start the cherry picker, you can do it on either the safe handle or the bite handle, like with many tricks, but I'm gonna be showing you on the safe handle. The first thing you wanna do is flick it like a basic opening. So you're going to flick it out like this and then turn it around. But instead of just having it go over your knuckles and the back of your hand, from this position, while it's turning, you wanna get your middle and index fingers out of the way and then have the spine of the blade fall over your ring finger here. From this point, you can throw it into the actual cherry picker. The cherry picker is essentially a helix, but instead of on your index finger and thumb, it's going to be on your middle finger and index finger. So once you're in this position, you wanna make sure to, while you're throwing it to that zero G middle finger roll, that you're getting your ring finger and pinky out of the way. So it's going to do half a rotation around your middle finger. You see my other fingers are getting out of the way. And then while it's rotating, I'm going to curl my middle finger in and then bring my index finger in on the side and then get into this position. So it's gonna look like this. And you can break it down into those steps if you don't feel comfortable trying it all the way like that. So you're in this position and you wanna be in this position in that ring shape, like with the helix, because you want to transfer the roll from your middle finger to your index. So once you're like this, your index finger is jutted out and it's available to the side of, of the handle here so that once you turn your wrist over, it slides onto your index finger like that. So you can practice that movement and you can see that once you turn your wrist around, it's already going around your index finger. So all you gotta do is keep that momentum going. Once you get out of this roll, you wanna catch the bite handle and then do a wrist pass and close it off. So it's going to go around like this. And then once it goes around your index finger, you're going to let it do that rotation and get your other fingers out of the way so you can catch the bite handle here like this and then do a downward wrist pass like that. I'm gonna throw this trick in three different combos at three different skill levels, so beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So whichever skill level you're at, you can learn the combo that I'm about to show you. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment what trick you wanna learn next, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon so you get notified when we release more of these tutorials. Don't forget to visit the Squid Industries website so you can pick up a Balasong trainer and start flipping, as well as our other social media platforms, links in the description. I'm gonna leave you all with a quick flipping clip as usual. We'll see you next time.